This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2003 Ford F-350 crew cab long bed. So it's a one ton single rear wheel, obviously. Um, it's a 6 turbo diesel. It's Lariat, which is leather. Uh, this truck is, it has an interesting history. It was a theft recovery we bought back in December of 2017. About two weeks later, we sold to a gentleman in New Mexico. Um, on 12 22 of 17 we we sold to him um, he brought it back loved the truck and then he decided to upgrade it that's when things went wrong um, they bought uh, cheap chinese heads and the wrong head studs the whole bit it was a mess um, so he called us up said you want to buy it back he kind of didn't exactly tell us the truth we had to figure it out on our own what happened but uh basically he screwed up uh, with the wrong heads and they did a very poor job, okay? So we decided that we'd make it the real truck and do it the real way. So we bought the right, correct heads for it um, and ARP head studs. And now it's uh, got the correct heads, ARP head studs. We use the Mishimoto aluminum uh, radiator that they did because that's a very expensive radiator. We were able to salvage that. Um, we also did number six and number two injector. Um, also, the EGR is deleted, um, but it has a cat. So in Arizona, that'll work out, okay? But in other states, California, whatever, you might want to find out if you need if you need an EGR cooler. We do have a bulletproof oil cooler, um, bulletproof EGR cooler, oil cooler package that you may want to do. Um, I'm also told. Let's see what else. Oh, we also installed a new high pressure oil pump on this car on this truck so uh if you need the egr cooler to be present um we do have a package uh that we advertise in our ad um arizona doesn't require it if your state does um we can do it i think it's 2900 dollars, and that's uh uh gives you a new ford oil cooler new uh bulletproof egr cooler um it just depends on what they look for under the hood there's a little ding right here when you go to emissions in your state. Most states, they're not gonna care, but I think in California, you're gonna want us to do that. Um, it's a nice truck, really nice truck. I know my guys like driving it. It's a shame that Joe was his name. Um, got some very shoddy uh, craftsmanship. I'm sure he paid a fortune. I know he paid $700 for the radiator that's in it now. And uh, they just jacked it all up. So now it's not jacked up. Now it's done correctly. And, uh, <coughs> you know, I would say that he should have just left it alone. And if he wanted to upgrade it, he should have just put a bulletproof uh, EGR cooler, done the, that package on it instead of head studying it. Um, but now it's head studded. <laughs> so, you got that going for you. I would bet he probably paid them five grand for that. Which was not a good, not a good way to go. Didn't need it. And then uh, after they were done, it did need it. <laughs> so we did it. Little ding here. There's uh, my brother's gonna do a four to uh, probably sixty to eighty uh, HD pictures photographs in that uh, gallery you can find the little magnifying glass icon that you can drag over any uh, spot in the photographs like you can go here and look at that obviously you could probably just buy some silver paint clean that up if you wanted to uh, we don't really like to uh, to uh, mess with cosmetics a whole lot we want you to really see it the way we see it so there's no real deception there you know Unless something's really jacked up, and then we'll tell you what we did. But we didn't do anything to this thing cosmetically. 185,511 miles. And when Joe brought it in, I don't think he even knew what was wrong. It ran great for like a half hour, and then it got warm. Didn't run so good. So we had to kind of figure out what they did to them. Ford stamp there, new battery here, Ford stamp here, so you know that's the original fender. 
There's the Ford stickers on the hood. So you know that's all original. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. So all the parts up front are original. Boom. That's excellent. Ugh. Here's all your locks working fine. You can see. Let's see. Forward. Back. Up. Well, let's go down first. And then we can go up. And then tilt up, down, up, down. Manual here. Nice truck. All right, let me give you some information here. Kelly Blue Book on this truck. For a uh, 358 foot uh, bed, that's a long bed, 185,000 miles. Typical listing price for this truck would be $14,680. Okay. Here is the uh, Carfax for the truck. Uh, there's the VIN. It says total loss vehicle. That's a financial term, okay? Um, I have to train people on this all the time. That does not mean salvage. There has absolutely never been a salvage title in this vehicle's past. It's a financial term. The victim of a theft is paid a total loss amount. That's why that's there, okay? Here's the, uh, I'll just run down the Carfax. And by the way, we did this Carfax 530 of 19. So this is brand new, that was today, okay? Just so you know. Ah, so it lived in Poway, California. Boom, boom. Boring, boring, boring. Always good to be boring. All right. It was stolen, 10-1 of 17. Recovered on 10-3 of 17. So it was gone for two days. Um, what else? What else? La, 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 la. Uh -huh. This is when we bought it the first time, 12-8 of 17. And then it went to New Mexico, 12-22 of 17. So we only had it for a couple days. And then... On 10-4, he decided, of 18, that he would go and get head, heads done, head gaskets replaced. That was really not what they did. They put heads on it, and they were incorrect. Um, and then, of course, they think it's uh, an oil cooler, which it wasn't. They jacked that up, too. Um, so, anyway, there you go. That's what happens when you go to the wrong shop. He probably spent five grand on that experience when he didn't need to go there. Uh, there's the VIN uh, for the truck. Title's now back in our name. It was issued to us, 222 of 19. 185,101 actual miles. That's a clear Arizona title. If it wasn't clear, it would say salvage right here where it says brands, just so you know. And if you notice on the Carfax, nowhere do you see the word salvage because salvage and total don't mean the same thing. Just means that somebody got paid a lot of money when it got stolen that time. Window, window, 
window, door locks. Let's see, mirrors out, in, down, up, other side out, in, up, and down. Heated seat on and off. Seat forward. Seat back, seat up, seat down, rear seat tilting up and down, front up and down, tilt wheel, boom, that's that. All right, let me get in this bad boy. God, I wish my guys wouldn't turn the radios on in these cars. It's so annoying. But aftermarket says Bluetooth CD player. I have no idea how to operate it, so I'm just going to turn it down manually. All right, let me get a seatbelt on here. All right, there we go. There's toe on and off. What else we got going on here? We got power pedals up and down. Let's see, what else we got? The air's blowing ice cold, I can assure you, because it's freaking hot right now. We're gonna get to 100 finally here in a day or two, I think. Probably 95 right about now. Let me move it out of here a little bit and we'll test the 4x4. All right, neutral, the four low. Now it says low range. 4x4 four four. drive that's definitely four low and reverse let's test the backup sensors here to make sure we either know they work or they don't they work all right let's go to four high so now the low range goes away it's in four high put it in drive this is four high and reverse in four high. Perfect. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to two wheel drive and go for a ride. All right, this vehicle's on a clear title. If you come to Tucson and drive at home, you have a nice truck that's head studded with new heads to drive home and a new high pressure oil pump, a couple new injectors, um, and a very expensive radiator. Uh, nice set of tires. It's a nice truck. Um, if you do come here to drive it home, this is how it'll work financially. <coughs> you will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, um, plus our city of 2.7%, and pay, pay, you'll pay a $250 dock fee. So it's your state tax, plus our city of 2.7, and a $250 dock fee if you come here to drive it home. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. Okay? Um, if you are going to pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name uh, or your company's name and address. Oh, this thing runs great. Um, really good. Very strong. Good shift, too. Um, we'll sign it off to you. We'll scan that in your online file so you'll be able to see it even before it hits the mail. And then we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. So everything is up front. Everything we know about the truck, which is a lot, we usually don't know as much as we know about this truck. Um, Carfax, Kelly Blue Book, title, everything we know you will know so that there's no drama. Uh, transparency is the key to success in the internet business. Um, we tell you what we know and that way you can make a good decision. Somebody will love this truck uh, and uh, we want to find the right person for it. Okay, that's why we do that. So, uh, you'll have the truck shipped to you title will be in the mail uh, before it even ships out most likely um, and uh, when the truck shows up at your front door when you have it shipped to your front door you already have the title in the mail when it shows up you'll go get plates it's very simple um, deposit deposit is five hundred dollars once we have your deposit we have a deal uh, we'll put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours you know <coughs> for big off-road tires and a lift this thing runs really really quiet I'm kind of surprised. Usually there's a little bit of looseness to the steering, um, a lot of road noise. Uh, sometimes I tell people I'd be leery about driving a long distance on, on interstates at high speed because it's annoying. This one I don't think would be too bad. I think this would be all right. Um, 
what else? Uh, oh, the end of every video, if you watch any video I've ever done, I've done thousands of them, but you have instant access to the 30 or 40 or so that are on our website with this truck's ad. Um, look the last two minutes uh, of any ad you want, I'll say the same thing. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a latte machine, we don't have a massage chair, we don't have video games in our lobby. Um, <coughs> we don't have anything for you at our place that's entertaining or fun, okay? Uh, we keep That keeps the price down, unlike other dealers, brick and mortars, they have to have that stuff um, to keep people happy. We don't have that, so you're not paying for it. That's not included in the price of the vehicle, okay? Like it is there. Um, also not including the price of the vehicle is future repairs, which is what other dealers do also. Um, they pump up the price so they know if something breaks, uh, they can afford to pay, pay for it. Well, we don't do that. And between saving you the money because we don't have all that crap, the salesmen, and especially the salesmen, and all the food and all that garbage, um, you're not paying for that. And because we're not including the repairs of the price, uh, we are not fixing your truck, okay? <clears throat> we give you tons of information about this truck. We know this truck intimately, okay? Um, feel bad for what the guy went through who bought it from us because it was self-inflicted wounds. Um, really bad craftsmanship from a really crappy garage, okay? And hopefully they watch this video and they call and get mad because I'd like to tell them that. Um, this was a beautiful truck and then they screwed it up. And now it's a more beautiful truck than it was the first time, but whatever. Um, bottom line is, we are not repairing the truck from the second you own it on, okay? We're not writing checks for parts. We're not writing uh, <coughs> checks for labor or anything. Um, we're giving you all the information we have so you can make a good decision. If that doesn't work for you, please don't buy anything from us because everything on our property, I say the same thing about. Okay, I'm not singling this truck out for anything. Um, it's a nice truck, but uh, our business model is we don't write checks for uh, repairs after the sale, right? All right, that's about it. Thank you for your time.